am Summer Jones. I am from Johnson Florist. I am a third generation floral designer in my family business. And I'm here today to talk to you about things that you might have in your garden that you could possibly uh, cut and then use for a table arrangement. Hi, I'm Kathy McCamish and I'm the horticulture manager at Cape Fear Botanical Garden. And I'm going to help Summer today uh, prune off some foliage and flowers so she can use in her arrangement. And normally we don't have people come in and just prune what they want for arrangements or this or that. So uh, somebody from the Hort staff will assist in um, getting flowers or foliage that might be needed for a special occasion or a video or a Again, um, after we just got finished cutting everything from the garden, now we're going to talk about this beautiful table of everything that we have that we are going to be putting together in our arrangements. So I wanted to talk to you quickly about the tools that you are going to need. Through the type of flowers that we have if you missed that while we were pruning. So this is a beautiful uh, blooming branch that we got from the front of the garden that we just love. Um, it is a Chinese variety and something that you may not have in your yard but you definitely may have a blooming branch. We've then got these beautiful uh, tulips. On a tulip you would really want to cut these a little earlier than what we have right now so the tighter the head the longer they're going to last. So when you feel these guys, they're a little bit open for what we would like to use in a cut arrangement, but of course, we're using what we have and that's the purpose of today's um, video. Next we've got these beautiful Dutch iris. You may grow some of these in your yard. They come in the purple, they also come in yellow. Um, and this is something that definitely your wholesaler, or your, um, not wholesaler, but your florist would have. So something you could maybe pick from your garden, alum plant. So again, something that's unusual, so you may not necessarily have this in your um, garden, but definitely a pretty textural element that we're going to use today. We then have verbena and daffodils. And then this is our beautiful bottle brush that we uh, chose, a hardy variety that we're going to use. Some yellow daffodils. This is a beautiful uh, purple textural element that is in the Veronica family that we'll add to our arrangement. And then we chose some pretty kind of dainty little roses from the garden, so some white and pinks, just little simple garden roses. Next we've got our camellia and our camellia foliage. So a couple different varieties here that are gonna work really well in our uh, centerpiece. And then we've got some blooming branches, so some white and some yellow flowers. So one thing to remember is you don't want any of this green foliage under the water. So the green foliage causes the flowers um, to actually rot 
causes um, bacteria to grow. So you can either take your hands and just kind of pull like this, or you know, kind of peel it back. Or you can even take your shears and kind of come through here. Probably in a floor setting, not as efficient because I have to do things pretty quickly. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of pull these off. wonderful, nice, long piece of gardenia foliage. So I'm gonna start with that as my base. And maybe kind of layer that in with one of our blooming branches. And again, just trimming this down so that you don't have all of that below the water line. Keeping that water as clean as possible so that we can make everything last as long as possible. Just peeling off a couple of these bad little branches, little uh, yellowing of the leaves. And you're just gonna kind of start with whatever shape you like. I'm, I'm starting with my foliage just simply because it kind of creates our line. So um, trying to give us a nice little armature to work with. And then luckily these beautiful branches already have flowers on them. These heads are a little heavy, so we may end up having to put something underneath to prop that guy up.
So thank you so much. Again, my name is Summer Jones. I work at Johnson Forest, uh, third generation business where we love everything about Cape Fear Botanical Gardens, what it means to you, what it means to our community. We appreciate you listening. Hope you learned something. Let us know if you have any questions. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and of course, direct your questions to the Botanical Gardens as you need to as well. Um, again, hope you have a great Easter and that you learned something and that you can get all these beautiful things out of your yard.